Boom. Okay. All right. So this is just an example of shading in some of these features that you'd have on your toy figure. So let's start with the first one, guys. We got kind of the cowboy hat with the face here, uh, but we want to bring in some of these things. Now, the first thing is this. Shading something that's kind of circular like the top of the hat, what I would do is I would treat it kind of like a cylinder. We're going to go in here and you want to shade in kind of the side, the edges, okay? And have it get lighter as you get towards the middle. That's probably the, the easiest way of doing this. You could go ahead and shade kind of down the bottom here too. Now, one thing is, is going to be clear is that all of you don't have, obviously, a cowboy or you don't have a cowboy hat, but you may have something that is kind of circular like this that you want to kind of convey the, the, the concept of it being a little bit more rounded. And that's what we're kind of doing here. Now, once you get this done, this is a little bit bigger. You could use your, tor your tortillion or blending stump, but I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to take a little bit of toilet paper, kind of shade those edges really good, and then kind of keep it a little bit lighter towards the middle here. And then underneath here too, because the light possibly is coming down from the top, this brim is going to be shaded as well. Okay? Keep it a little bit darker, maybe closer to the scalp, but then you can lighten up as you get towards the tips. A little bit darker through here and lighten it up. And the other thing too, guys, when you do a lot of shading with these, and a lot of you are, already know this too, but just holding your pencil kind of on the side allows you to really get some nice value kind of showing up on here. And here I'm gonna go ahead and take the blending stump and just kind of work some of this stuff in. Oh boy, that's nice and dark. All right, so you got this right here. So the hat, for the most part, you guys, looks pretty good, okay? Got that down, it looks pretty nice. Now, for getting in a face, what I can do is sometimes you can take a dirty blending stump uh, or you can use a pencil as well. But when you do some of the face, you want to find where the eyes are going to go, which is pretty much right in through here, kind of right through the middle of where the ears are. Okay? And when you do this, I usually just go ahead, kind of put in almost like these little dark ind indentations. Now it looks like I don't have quite enough graphite on here, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of take a little bit of the pencil here. I'm going to go ahead and kind of add that little indentation. All right, a little bit of a... a Mark underneath here for the bottom of the nose. That's really all you need. And then for the mouth, <laughs> typically I just have a line like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and put just another little mark kind of below there. Then you can go back in, you guys, and you can add a little bit of the shading. All right. Oops. Oh, just made him look angry. Okay. All right. All right, boom. And you got yourself a face. Okay. You can maybe add a little bit more kind of in through the middle there. It looks fine. Maybe add a little bit kind of underneath more of the hat here too. Get a little bit more of the shadow kind of taking place, but boom, you got that. And of course, underneath the chin, you're probably gonna have a little bit of value there. Underneath this collar, all right? A lot of times just using kind of the dirty end of the blending stump really works well. Go ahead, kind of add a little bit more value through there. Boom, and this is pretty much all you need to do for this one, okay? Just to get that face to kind of show up, all right? And that's it, it's amazing how just by some, some smudges, you can create this whole expression. All right, moving over to this one right here. Something that's a little bit more rounded, kind of like this, I like a bowl shape or a helmet shape here. All right, same thing though, similar concept, but of course it's not gonna be like a tube shape, but you wanna shade in both sides, right in through here. All right, and once again, if it's a little bit bigger like I have here, then I would go ahead and I would grab a piece of toilet paper and just kind of work this stuff in. Over on the side here, just kind of work that in, okay? Boom, that's all you need to do, look at that. And it already looks three-dimensional, it's so cool. All right, then I can go ahead and kind of add a little bit in the back here too, because once again, this neck is probably gonna be a little rounded, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of add a little shadow right through here. You know, maybe where the, the helmet's kind of coming over the skin, we can go ahead and kind of add a little bit there. All right, on the side here as well. It's got kind of a thick neck. But then for the eye, once again, like we did with the cowboy, we're just gonna go ahead and kind of put a little bit of a shadow here. All right, maybe kind of bring this nose up a little bit more. Could add a little bit kind of in through here. All right, and a little bit on the collar there as well. But you want to make things look three-dimensional. You want to make things look rounded. You want to make things look like they got a little bit of a form to them. I'm going to kind of darken this up a little bit more there too. There we go. There we go. Cool. So I've got this one. That's not too bad either. Like that's pretty good. Could add a little bit more underneath the collar if I wanted to, but boom, we got that. Now we get down to the to the leg and the arm here that have kind of the, the folds in the fabric, okay? Typically what happens is this, you guys, these little kind of indentations here are meant to be kind of the folds. That's where you want to go ahead and you want to get some of your shading. All right, that's where you're going to have more of your value. Now, I usually like to say on the bottom side, okay, you're going to have a stark contrast between it being dark and then getting lighter, okay? So take this little piece right here, all right, it's going to be dark and then it's going to get lighter. All right, 
and then maybe I could go ahead and kind of add a little bit more kind of up and through here. And the other thing too is this, remember this is going to be kind of treated a little bit like a, something that's, that's three dimensional as well, like a tube, all right, or a cylinder shape. So you want to go ahead as well and kind of add a little bit of shading on either side. Right, I'm going to go ahead and kind of take my, my toilet paper and kind of blend that in. But then in these areas right through here, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of add a little bit of shading. All right. So it is, it's not a bad idea to kind of draw in kind of where those wrinkles are going to go. And then you should be able to kind of figure it out. And of course, I want to go ahead and kind of add a little bit of a shadow where the, where, where the fabric probably would overlap the boot, or the shoe. All right, go ahead and kind of add a little bit kind of underneath here too. Once again, make it look just a little bit more three-dimensional. All right, it's kind of a nice, nice thing to be able to do. Okay. So boom, we got that. And the same thing with the arm. Looking at this, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit of a darker shadow right through here. It's going to get light right there. A little bit darker, a little bit darker right through here. Got all these little inundations taking place here. Oh boy, uh, all right, keep it dark kind of underneath through here. All right, and once again, maybe add a little bit more value kind of on the bottom side of this, make it look a little bit more, more three-dimensional. This is gonna be, be a little bit of a lighter value than I would have inside those wrinkles though. Don't want to have that too much there, okay? I'd leave it a little bit light on this side. All right, because you got the light probably shining down from over here. All right, so you want to kind of keep this. All right, a little bit light over there. All right, and then go back in, guys, too. Just kind of finish this off. You know, a lot of this, though, too, and I mentioned this before, when you start putting some of these values in, a lot of it's just working from observation. All right, what do you see? Where do you see the values? Where does, it get, where does it get darker? And that's why I think, too, if you take a photo of these things, you guys, they work out, they turn out really, really nice. We go ahead and kind of add a few little kind of wrinkles in through here. Oops, sorry, wrinkles, shadows in through the hand here. Separate those fingers out. Okay. Just kind of go that extra yard. So I, I do this because I think it's good practice to kind of um, know where to add these things, you know, and it make them look really good. Oh, I like the leg a lot better. That's one. I want. I like that one too much. But otherwise, you know, this is what I'm going to have you work on for today, um, and we'll get these kind of handouts to you. Right?